more interesting approach or large large structures such as uh, huge buildings. Uh, the inside test is usually difficult, and usually uh, it it is usually um, conducted after the construction. Okay, it after construction when the engineering is constructed, it usually means the performance is given. Okay, the performance is determined. Okay, uh, it it is not easier to change. When the house, when the building is constructed on the bridge, and the bridge is uh, constructed, okay. So, uh, theoretically, theoretical research and numerical research is important, and how to uh, verify the given results, okay, by theoretical and numerical work. The test is very important, okay. The experimental work in the lab, okay, is critical in the research. Okay, it will help us to figure out the real performance of the structure. In the last decades, we use different test technologies. The first is static test. Static test means. It will load on the structure statically, okay. However, from the feature, it can be easier seen that the load is increase, okay, uh, increase uh, monotonically, okay. So it only only reflects the increasing volts, okay, on the specimen. Uh, from this, we can. It is if indicated that we can obtain the ultimate ultimate performance of the structure. Okay, actually, it will not reflect a specific important um, factors. Okay, such as uh, uh, a sasquatch wave, a sask wave. Okay. Uh, it is a monotonic loading. Uh, the second we call it pseudo static. Okay, like this one. Okay, uh, it re it can reflect the uh, earthquake some uh, simple simple factors some simple features. Okay, uh, but earthquake actually including three important uh, factors. Okay, uh, the uh, magnitude, okay, or we call or we call it the peak value of acceleration, our velocity, or displacement of a quick waves, okay, is the first factor. The second is we call it spectral, spectral, okay, sus, uh, response spectral or seismic record spectral. It reflects the frequency, frequency uh, contents. Okay, it is it, in, in the quick records. It it in it includes high, uh, moderate, or uh, low uh, frequencies or vibrations. Okay, from the spectral, we can know we can know it. Okay. Uh, the second, the third one is we call it the duration. Okay, we call it duration. Uh, it means the uh, whole time. Okay, our our speed happening. Okay, so pseudo study can can reflect the um, low cyclic low cycle loading. Okay, cycle loading, but we it will not reflect the spectral. It will not reflect the duration of the earthquake. Okay. Uh, this the the next developed 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 test technology. Uh, we uh, called it the uh, so actually we called it pseudo dynamic pseudo dynamic test. Okay. Uh, this the third one pseudo dynamic and it can reflect the. Three important factors of earthquake. However, it will 
it will load on the specimen very slowly. Very slowly. It means we it will not reflect the read dependent performance of the of the components and the structure. Okay. It all it in uh, another words, read dependence is neglected in the test. Uh, the most and the most well known test the technology is the shaking table test. Okay. Uh, it is a very useful uh, technology to study the structures and the components performance on the earthquake. Okay. It will load on the uh, structure rapidly. Okay. So the read dependence effect is also considered in the test. It can be designed. However, shaking table test it, uh, needs very large facility, very large device to firstly to support the tense specimens. Okay, and then it will uh, produce the acceleration of ground motion. Okay, so this facility is, is very expensive. Okay, so uh, the test. This test is also expensive, including the specimens construction. But we need, for example, the facilities table is four meters plus four meters, just like in Central South University's lab. Okay, uh, we need design the specimen to a small one. Okay, we call it skilled model. Skilled model will produce another uh, some problems in the test. When we use the test results to reflect the proper type structure, it will produce some uh, errors. Okay, we should figure out the errors and give some re give right results based on the test re test uh, work. Okay. So this is some new technologies. In recent years, another new technology is also development. We call it the uh, hybrid simulation. Hybrid simulation. It usually means we use some parts of the structure to numerical simulated in the lab, and some parts is conducted physically in the lab. Okay. In the boundary, we use actuators to realize the displacement of the force. Okay, so we call it numerical and physical hybrid simulation technology. Okay, this is a new technology. Uh, our test in 